Hi everyone, John Martinson here in the jungle in Cambodia, founder of RoboLinux. You can call me Robo, everyone else does. Welcome to the RoboLinux 11.11 .11 major overhaul upgrade plus a miracle called Fast Boot application. For many months now, RoboLinux users have asked for a faster boot up time. Can't blame them. So all three 11.11 .11 versions that typically were booting up between 40 seconds and even up to 55 seconds, all versions went through a major overhaul of removing and rebuilding code that resulted in a whopping 400 megabyte ISO file size reduction in the Cinnamon and Mate 3D versions. You'll see that. Um, it was during this rigorous total rewrite project, which almost killed me. I've been working nonstop for, I don't know, uh, it's been weeks and weeks, a um, couple hours here and there for sleep. It was during this rigorous total rewrite project that I invented Fastboot, which I'm showing you the press release to right here, that also works on all systemd Linux operating systems. Fastboot, Fastboot, that's <laughs> pretty cool, sounds like a German word, is also the way the British pronounce Fast is a new innovative application that uses a non-invasive specialized diagnostic software tool, which I'll show you in a second, that you can use quickly to generate a unique custom hand-coded by me fast boot installer tar file so that you can safely in one click reduce your operating system boot up time. Get ready for this to an average of only five to seven seconds without breaking your Linux operating systems or, or software or access to peripherals and you know wireless printers and Samba networks, Windows networks, you get the idea. It's pretty complex. So after a quick tour of the FOSS boot application, I'm going to show you 100% proof that fast boot works. So here's how you use fast boot. Okay. And by the way, all RoboLinux 11 users, I don't care where you are, can just go. You could be at 1103. It doesn't make any difference. Just go to administration and you can go to auto upgrade and you can take it all the way up to version 11.11. .11. And in that version, and I'm going to show you Robo Fast Boot. Now, in the XFC version, you have to go down to, um, actually, it's system, and it's going to have numerical um, one, two, three, four uh, menu options for the Robo Fast Boot. Now, <clears throat> the first option is going to be, and you'll do this when you um, upgrade to 11.11 .11 or download the ISO, which is now way like 400 megabytes smaller. Okay. Um, so you'd click here to find out even before you installed the hand coded tar file in one click, you'd click here for your boot time report. And as you can see, my machine is running, um, at 7.742 seconds. Okay. Now you can see that the kernel, the kernel was running at about 4.6. And that's because I'm running massive amounts of um, virtual machines and so on and so forth. And so um, with the diagnostic tool, I was able to get it down from a crazy 59 seconds down to, as you saw, 7.7 .7 seconds. Um, now, <clears throat> just to show you what happens here, it's just as simple as, as it can get. Um, when you've upgraded to 11.11, .11, you'll see this in your menu options, um, and you have to click this uh, fast boot diagnostics report. And this is the this is the genius of this product because this is a I can run this for you right now. It's pretty neat. Um, what it's going to do is it's 
it as I was digging all through all the code and you know, you know, making you know every operating system run faster and and make the ISO smaller, I came across um, many many different uh, configurations in the low level system files that if correctly set up and carefully set up um, would safely be able to um, uh, allow me or allow you to uh, reduce your uh, boot up time, which is really impressive. Um, it's pretty amazing. And um, so as you can see, you'll see two files here now. Why that is is because here's one for you to go look at, and of course it's non-invasive, no private information, no uh, sensitive information goes into this file, um, but it's pretty big, and that's why I created a tar file. Look at this, 3.9 megabyte. Well, you know that's you, you'll have trouble emailing that, so just send the tar file that I created for you here, and you can see that that's only 749 KB. All right, but feel free to go through here and look at the, it's pretty neat the way it's all organized so that I can quickly hand code your uh, custom fast boot um, installer. Um, and anyway, all this information I can quickly get to using search tools and figuring out, you know, how I'm going to build your, um, your uh, tar file that then is going to go into uh, your downloads folder over here and then you're simply going to go to Fastboot again and click on the installer now and it takes about a minute you'll see it all in the video I'm about to show you um, which has the 100% proof that Fastboot works um, now I did something else because I'm really dedicated to you people um, you know there's no point in you know making it a small investment and then three months later it slowed down by two seconds or maybe even you know five or six seconds something like that so you have a tune-up button here and what that does is it's all based on your diagnostic report so it's custom built for you um, and it's it knows what is going to grow in the system and affect um, the actual boot speed um, uh, so, so you can click that whenever you now note that if you're doing an update, if you're if it's checking for updates, you will get um, a slightly slower during that checking process. You'll get a slightly slower boot speed, um, but you'll see that uh, you'll go back to your normal boot speed. Um, you know, as soon as it's done uh, checking for update. Um, so. But it's it's minor, and you wouldn't even notice it because you're going to boot in, in the five to seven second range anyway. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. We're running a Ubuntu 18.04. Okay. I've been using this a while, and let's see how long it takes to boot up. Um, oh my goodness. 45 and a half seconds it's let's see what can we do well we'll go to Robo Linux and go to fast boot and what do we do here well it's a cinnamon version and uh, what we need to do is we need to install fast boot that's what we're gonna do all right and then we'll find out how much faster it runs. Okay, and so I followed these really easy step-by-step -step instructions and it told me to create a diagnostic report, so I did. And then it said to email it to Robo Linux, and the last step is to install. They sent back my, let's see, they sent back my download URL, and I now have the custom fast boot upgrade installer now in my downloads folder, like I'm supposed to.
but it says, oh, I must shut down all my applications before installing. So let's go ahead and shut down the Brave browser. And now it's time to install the Robo Fastboot one click installer. I type my password. And let's see what happens. Let's see how fast the fast boot is. And some message here about if your system ever slows down, you can run the fast boot tune up. So maybe in a few months, I might need that. I don't have that one. It's not available yet. Let's see if it installs it. Okay. Oh, it's carefully and safely adjusting my Linux operating system so that it will boot up to 10 times faster for me. I'll be patient and wait for this process. It can take up to one minute, as it says. All right. So far, so good. Nothing complicated. Oh, Fastboot is almost finished now. Thank you for your very kind patience. Okay. And hasn't taken too long so far. Must be pretty busy working. Just wait a few more seconds, hopefully. Oh, and now it's done and I need to reboot in order for it to, to work properly. So I'm going to go ahead and do a reboot here and come back and check and see Ah, look, there's Fast Boot Tune-Up. And I'll just click on this Boot Time Report after I've done a reboot to see what it's done. Okay, only a few minutes of very easy to follow instructions. We've done our reboot. And um, now it's time to find out what the Robo Fast Boot application really could do. Remember, we had a 45 and a half second boot up time. Let's go ahead and find out what it is now. Oh my goodness, look at that. 6.387 seconds. Now that's going to save me, my goodness, if I take my calculator out, I would bet that would be maybe hundreds of hours every year. What will I do with all that extra time? Uh, I want to ask you to uh, please um, uh, take advantage of this miracle uh, fast boot. Um, it's not expensive. It's going to take me, for some it'll be an hour's worth of work and for others it might be anywhere as much as you know three four five hours uh, to build these uh, these custom files but here's how you order um, you just go you're going to get to 11.11 .11 and there's only one button that's going to take you well actually there's two of them you can go to the installers and if you click here where it says robo fast boot application it will take you um, no matter what browser you're using because now I'm using xdg open It'll take you to the um, to the how to install and activate Robo Fast Boot in all system D Linux operating systems. So, if you've switched over to something else, you know that's nice. You know many of you are using Linux Mint and um, and even you know Ubuntu and other stuff. Um, and uh, I'm very uh, agnostic when it comes to you know, what operating system somebody's using. But if you are using a Robo Linux version, um, you would click on your flavor, Cinnamon, XFC, or Mate 3D. And each one of these, um, I'll show you around really quickly. Um, most people use the Cinnamon. Um, and if you're using one of these other hundreds and hundreds of other uh, Linux operating systems, then you'd click down here. and. 
<clears throat> now this is, they're slightly different because you have to go through a process of downloading a stub installer, but it's all explained. Here's, here's Linux Mint uh, 20 showing you how simple it is to, um, here are your step three as you, you order um, my time, um, which is not, it's not expensive. Um, and then I'll go through the process and, and make your file for you. And it shows you how to get your diagnostic um, file created. And then you have to email it. And then your seventh step is to install it. And then as a bonus, I created, and you'll get this with your tar file, you'll get your fast tune-up, um, which is, um, I think it's pretty essential. Um, uh, do unto others as you would do unto yourself. So, all right, so that's uh, for this all system D's. And notice here, this particular machine, this is really, this one was really fun. Um, somebody had an operating system and I got it down to 4.598 seconds, okay? And oh, that was, what a thrill that was. Okay, so here's the cinnamon one. Um, and Typically, cinnamon is going to be about somewhere between, realistically, about six seconds, seven seconds max. Um, <clears throat> and there it just shows you. And this one's slightly easier, of course, because you have your, everything's already installed. You don't need a stub installer. Um, and you just simply go over here and click on your diagnostics report. And as it tells you to email it, you'll then get, uh, after I've done the hard work building the a custom installer for you. You'll get it. Um, it tells you to turn, shut down all your applications before you, um, before you click the installer over here. And of course, you put the file in your downloads folder. Um, some of this would be a little redundant after you see the next video or you saw the previous video. Um, so there's the installer, and uh, and so it couldn't be simpler. Um, the hard work is my work, um, and um, again, I'd really, I'd really like to ask you to please order this. Um, I worked tirelessly for weeks and weeks and weeks, and and um, and it, it it took quite a toll on me. So um, thank you for um, uh, putting up with this. Uh, uh, what do you want to call this advertisement? Uh, but I do, I do uh, hope that you take advantage of this miracle. And as always, I like to finish all of my videos with this. I hope that you somehow have a wonderful day, and may Yahweh bless you greatly.